in Thailand when they make amulets. Different amulets have different specialties. There's some that are supposed to protect you from bullets, some that are supposed to make you attractive to other people, make them have goodwill for you. Those that bring wealth your way. That's the belief. So when John Lee made all those one million amulets for the celebration of the 25 centuries of Buddhism, someone asked him, what kind of powers do you want this amulet to have? He said, lots of metta. The people have goodwill for you, coming from your goodwill for them. They're not going to shoot you, so you don't have to worry about bullets. And metta is a kind of wealth. So that was the power of the Ajahn Lee amulet, goodwill. And it's a protective power. The kind of talks about all the dangers you protect yourself from if you have goodwill for all. And so it's a good practice to engage in. Because the number one thing you have to protect yourself from, of course, is, is from your own unskillful actions. Of a John Munn students, the one that a John Munn taught the, the great chant on goodwill. The first one, apparently, was a John Cow. And John Cow, he'd gone off as a layperson and he came back and found that his wife had been having an affair with somebody else. His first thought was he was going to kill them, the two of them. And then he realized, nope, we better not do that. So he left and ordained. So he had reason to be angry. And when you have reason to be angry, that's especially when you need goodwill, because the mind can talk itself into all kinds of rationalizations. But the big reason for the goodwill is protecting yourself from yourself. When you have yourself protected that way, then what happens outside doesn't matter so much. After all, we all have our karma, good and bad. And as long as we know that we're not adding any more bad karma right now, it's a lot easier to take whatever bad things come from the past. After all, the Buddha said that's one of the ways you protect yourself from past bad karma, is having unlimited goodwill for everybody. So look at your goodwill. Is it unlimited? Is it for everybody? Are there people from whom you hold it back? Now talk to yourself. Reason with yourself. And to realize that you don't gain anything by withholding your goodwill. And when you can think in that way, then your protection is complete. <laughs>